Hi everyone, I'm Freni Patel, a data protection consultant at Saro. This snippet is intended to provide a quick overview on the draft Digital Data Protection Bill of India released by MIT, highlighting the key takeaways of the draft, which still require deliberation. This is a shorter draft down to less than 30 provisions from 100 in the previous versions, where we can expect lots of new rules and directions to be made by the government time to time. This draft has a sharp focus on personal data, on protection of personal data, but it does not define its ambit or does not give recognition to categories of data like sensitive personal data or critical data. It only covers data that is in the digital format. This can have many implications, which will attract many conflicts. For example, if the offline data is used for digital marketing or simply when offline Data is the source of collection, but converted to the digital form, does that or will that amount to processing? This is a huge loophole, and the consent for processing activities may then change. Should data principles be informed in such situations, and will that be their right? That is also a question to ask. This draft sets up a data protection board, only to determine non-compliance and award penalties. There is no set of regulations that define the limit of their powers. There is no clarity on whether they will be an independent body or government appointed under the ministry. If that is the case, if they are not an independent body, then surveillance and government oversight can be biased. This draft also introduces a concept of voluntary undertaking, which is to do or not to do a special action. When this is accepted by the board, it implies that there will be a bar on any proceedings against the entity on those aspects. Now, which are the acceptable aspects? We still do not know. Under this draft, compliance actions that are invoked by the draft must be inclusive of linguistic diversity. For example, your consent forms, the privacy notices, etc. to be prepared in languages recognized under the 8th Schedule of Indian Constitution. This draft also drops out data localization, although certain guidelines and many other guidelines require a copy to be stored in India and clock synchronization with respect to Indian time. A lot to think and digest, but it can be said that the requirement for this law is the need of the hour, but it has vague terms and gives unchecked and unguided powers. So let's think about it. Mm -hmm.